Hi guys and welcome to another video. So late last night it was reported that George Honeyman was subject to a bid of around 400k from Hull City and that bid has been accepted. Now as I'm recording this video it hasn't been 100% confirmed that he's officially signed for Hull or anything like that but it is rumoured to believe that, uh, that he will be having a medical at Hull today. So for me, my opinions on it, I, I think it was only a matter of time. Uh, I, I think you know he only has a year left on his contract. Uh, you know he has been subject to a lot of abuse. He has been a bit of a scapegoat uh, for Sunderland uh, this last season, and you know I, I've never been a massive fan of him uh, from a sort of talent point of view. I don't think you know I don't think he's a, a poor player. I, I, I've never thought that. I don't think he's an outstanding player. I think giving him the captaincy at his age and with the ability he's got and the influence he'd already had on the team, I think that already uh, put him on the back foot with the fans. I think Jack Ross shot himself in the foot by giving George Honeyman the captaincy there and it, and it put him on a pedestal for everyone to go at, uh, which was unfortunate because he does have an excellent attitude. Of course, he loves the club, that's obvious to see. Uh, and uh, now he's leaving, which, you know, I'm not going to cry about it and pretend that I'm particularly bothered because in all honesty he didn't get into my starting 11 my preferred starting 11 last season and he wouldn't get into my starting 11 this season either so we're going to make 400k out of him you know with only a year left on his contract uh, yeah he does contribute um, you know I think stats sometimes they might overdo it and overplay it a little bit because last season he'd get a handful of goals a handful of assists but but if you obviously like the Sunderland fans you know We'll see him play week in, week out. And he didn't really offer that much. But obviously from a standpoint of if you didn't really watch him play and you just looked at his stats, you'd think, oh, he's actually pretty decent. But he didn't offer as much as I think he could have done or, or maybe should have done as a captain anyway. Um, so for me, you know, I, I, of course, I'd wish him all the best if this does go through. But, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, cry about it because, like I say, I think we've got better midfielders uh, in there over Honeyman. Now... In, the, in terms of captaincy, who I would go for. Now, I have seen a lot of people on social media suggest Grant Ledbetter for obvious reasons. Of course, he loves the club, he's experienced, he's from the area. Uh, it, so it, it all makes sense. But for me, I think if we give Grant Ledbetter the captaincy, he would undoubtedly just become the next scapegoat. And the reason I say that is because uh, Jack Ross feels the need to play his captain every single game. He can't drop him. And he did that with Honeyman last season. We saw that with George last season. And I believe that we've got midfielders who are better and in front of Grant Ledbetter. So I, th I think Jack Ross will feel the need to play him every game humanly possible if we give Grant the captaincy. And he will become the next scapegoat because he isn't as good as other midfielders. And he will be in front of other midfielders purely just because he's the captain. And I think last season, with you know... I don't think Grant was very good, personally, and I've said this before, I, I don't think he's shit, of course he's not shit, you know, it's good to have that experience around the squad, you know, maybe bring him on as a sub, um, so whether the Storm or, you know, he just can't play down and what have you, but for me, he doesn't get into my starting eleven whatsoever, I think Power's better than him, I think McGeoch is better than him, I think Dobson, obviously, obviously something different, but I think there are players far in front of him, in terms of ability, uh, of course, Grant used to be a great play, but he, I think people have been sort of clouded by this, uh, in this in this bubble of nostalgia of what he used to be like. And I think people overlooked his relatively poor performances last season because I don't. I know he only come through the second half, but for me, he didn't. You know, he didn't set the world alight. I don't think he was particularly great when he did join us last season. And I think if he's given the captaincy, people think, oh God. He's actually pretty shit. Do you know what I mean? Although I think that's a bit harsh. Is it, it pretty shit? But it, it, his performances, they won't go missed. Do you know what I mean? I think people looked over it last season purely because of the nostalgic reasons. But for me, captaincy, I'd probably give it to either Big John in goal because he's very vocal. He's got a very, very good attitude. If you see him in interviews, he's got such a good attitude, uh, John McLaughlin. Or if not, maybe Max Power as well. Um, I just hope to God he doesn't go down the same route with Honeyman and he can give it to like Gooch or something because he's a young lad coming th who's come through our academy. Um, but I, I, I'd say Big John or Power, uh, I, I would say. But um, but yeah, so like I say, uh, Honeyman, if he does go, all the best to him. You know, he obviously loved the club. It just hasn't worked out for him. And, you know, I, I, I think it was only a matter of time before he did leave anyway. Um, 
But yeah, so you let me know in the comments, what do you think about that, about us potentially losing our captain? And if he does leave, who would you give the captaincy? So that'll be it, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sarni Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.